today. I'm going to be reflecting on the teaching process. First, of teaching one of my friends how to play Why Am I the One on the ukulele. Uh, one of the most interesting things about this process was that he had had no prior experience with any strung string instrument, whether it was guitar or ukulele. So I had to start from the beginning, teaching the basics about uh, how to hold the instrument, how to strum it, and then from there, move on to how to play chords and how to transition between chords and that kind of stuff. So, um, as far as holding the instrument goes, that was pretty straightforward. He picked up on that pretty quickly. Uh, the strumming on its own wasn't too much of an issue. The main problem was putting the strumming together with the chords. There was a little bit of a coordination issue there, which I expected, having been teaching someone who not played a string instrument before, so that made sense. Um, as far as chords go, he was, he was quick to pick up on chords. Uh, one of the things that I didn't think about, uh, coming from a guitar background, is there's there's a couple fingerings for chords that just, if you're not used to them, seem really awkward. And for one of the chords I was trying to teach him for the song, uh, you have to put your fingers in a very awkward place. and it, did, it wasn't working for him, so I had to try to find an alternative method of uh, arranging your fingers to play that chord, which on a guitar isn't too hard, but on a ukulele when there's only four strings, it becomes a little bit difficult. So that was a little bit of a barrier, but we eventually found a way around it so that he was able to play the chord. Um, like I said, the strumming on its own was good, and the chords on, on their own were good but trying to put them together proved to be the challenge here. Uh, transitioning between chords, you can do it, but it was slower than what we needed for the song. And the strumming, you could do it, but still, um, still a little awkward, and not quite what we were looking for yet. And overall, you, you got a basic gist of what was going on, but uh, there were definitely some things that I could have done better in order to make him more prepared. Um, just like I said, a lot of the teaching process was trying to find different ways to go about stuff based on his background. Um, I definitely made it a point to be encouraging along the way because I know it's difficult for someone who's never played an instrument like this before. So I tried to go very slowly, thoroughly explain everything. I did a lot of modeling, having a guitar background myself and now a ukulele background. Um, I would do a lot of showing him, you know, where your fingers go, and then, okay, now you do this. Or this is how you strum, you go up, down, up, down, now you do this. And I tried to balance that, that modeling, with a sense of exploration, and that, oh, you can try this yourself and see what happens. And I found that that balance worked pretty well for me, and he was able to pick up on both of those approaches fairly well. Obviously, he was a little reluctant to try some of the experimental stuff, never playing ukulele before, but he caught on to it fairly well. And in the end, we were able to play some semblance of the song, and although it was a bit out of time and the chord changes were a little awkward, he still, he still got the idea of a little bit of the basics that go into playing ukulele, and uh, indirectly how to play guitar. So I'm hoping that that will be useful to him in some way in his future. But yeah, overall it was it was a good teaching experience. Um, definitely different. I haven't worked with a lot of people without any guitar background, so definitely challenging in that regard, but overall a good experience.